Hey everyone, uh, this is Yash. I'm just going to show a quick tutorial about how to generate the DXF files for all the tubes uh, based on the format that our laser cutter requires. Um, so to start, this is our chassis. Um, hopefully you're familiar with how this is constructed. And the most important thing here is the cut list. So this basically contains everything within the chassis um pretty much mo mostly it contains developments and ways to track different bodies basically um and so i i went i've gone through already and sorted out all the different tube sizes um so really all you need within the cut list are these folders and um, i've kind of labeled them by either what they are or and also their outer diameter and wall thickness uh, based on the CAD. And so um, we don't need to worry about any of the rolled tubes, the ones that are bent. Um, those are going to be processed separately for a different sponsor. Um, we really are just interested in the very in the straight tubes, and we want to generate them in the way that the laser cutter needs. And so we can go through um, just randomly. I'll choose maybe this tube and we can just use it as an exercise. And so it is in the, the tube size is one inch outer diameter within with a wall thickness of 049 inches. And so first all we're gonna do, right click it and say insert into new part. And then we have to choose where we're gonna save it. And I made a folder for where I want these to be saved. Uh, we can see, so it's all on the GrabCAD. It'll be FE9, structures, chassis, cut list, laser cutting, and then you can just save it right here. And the naming convention that we're going to follow this year is um, kind of how we've done it already in the past. Uh, I've just kind of copied that. It seems to work. Uh, we're just going to say what is the tube, the wall thickness of the tube, and um, what tube number is it. So for the tube numbers, we can just go sequentially. It doesn't really matter uh, the number you assign it as long as all the tubes are different numbers. Um, and so I've already done one tube. It was this tube up here and that I just named number one and it's 065 wall thickness. So this one is 049 wall thickness. We'll just represent that with a four and then we can just do dash two and M and let me explain what M means in a, in a second. So first we're going to do that, hit the check mark, and it's going to open up that single tube in a different part, uh, just like we want it. So first, real quick, let me explain the M. Um, M is just going to be a symbol that means the, the tube is mirrored. Um, and so what that means is it's a way to represent all the tubes that basically are mirrored um, and specifically the ones that are mirrored about our center plane. Um, and so what the reason that we're doing this is so that we don't have to generate uh, DXF files for every single tube. We can just do half of the tubes um, that are mirrored and just write M, write the letter M and then our laser cutter knows that, okay, this is a mirrored tube. I, I can just mirror it really quickly within the, the program and I don't, then we don't have to generate as many um, DXF files. And so yeah, the tubes that aren't mirrored are pretty much all the ones that run along the center. Um, so that includes like these guys, the, the two front bulkhead ones, all the floor ones, um, and any just one-off tube that um, either basically isn't mirrored about this plane or is just running or is just a solo tube, which for example, is like this one. Um, yeah, I hope that makes sense. And so, all right, we just, what did we do? Just a quick recap. We want to go into this tube. We know that it is, what size is it? 049, right click, insert into new part. We saved it with a file name and that opened up into this part. And so you'll notice the X, Y, Z planes are the same plane that we have within our chassis. 
Um, and so that's not too ideal. And because we, we really, okay, you, you'll see, I, I won't try to explain it right now, but okay, just choose any plane, go on to a sketch, um, be normal to that sketch, just so you can see what's going on. Draw a circle anywhere of any size, it doesn't really matter. Um, we're just gonna make it for construction. And none of this needs to be like constrained or anything like that. Um, this is just a really quick and dirty way to get the drawing format that we were looking for. Uh, I'm just gonna mate this to be coincident. All right, that's just completely fine. Um, and I'll also just mate this guy as a midpoint and yeah, this is like, it's not constrained. Um, it, it won't matter as we'll see. Uh, the only thing we need to do is set a really small thickness. I'm gonna choose 0 0.0001. And now, now we're done. So the only one for construction is this circle. And the rectangle is just super, super thin, basically a line. Um, and it's a really small thickness, 0 0.0003, the three zeros, sorry, 0 0.0001 uh, seems to be a thickness that works well for the process. Um, and so when, once we have that, we're gonna search in the command thing for the command move and copy body. And we're gonna say, we wanna move this body and if you don't have these mate settings pulled up, there's like a button to show constraints, uh, just click that. But yeah, we're gonna move this body and we want to make it concentric about this circle. Just hit add, or wait, there. So we have to choose the face there and also there, the, the circle, and we, we made it concentric and we just hit the check mark. And now we'll see the tube is in line or it's concentric with the circle and the circle has this rectangle um, coming from its center uh, through the tube on one side. And really now what the point of this is, um, it'll all start making sense very soon. We're gonna do an extruded cut um, with this sketch, sketch two. And we just wanna do through all in both ways. And we're just, we're essentially just making a cut of very small thickness, a 0 0.0001 thickness cut through the one face of one side of the tube. We're gonna do that, hit check. So there's a really tiny cut going through it. It's basically just a way to split the, the tube. Um, and then, what do we have to do next? Next up, we have to go to sheet metal. Um, so if you don't have this, this tool here, you can just right click, hit tabs, and then make sure sheet metal is checked. Um, and so yeah, do that. We're gonna click insert bend and just hit one of the edges of the, the cut we just made and hit the check mark. And last step, hit flatten. And boom. So this is the reason that we split the tube um, on one edge so that we can use the cool sheet metal technique to flatten the, the part. And this is the format that the laser cutter needs. We need to, we're going to basically send this cutting pattern off to the laser cutter and his machine will be able to basically draw this with a laser on the edge of our tube of the right thickness. Um, so he'll be able to draw this pattern on the edge. And um, when, he, when the laser cutter does that, it'll make the tube look like it should, um, which is really cool. Or I think it's really cool. Um, and so, yeah, the, basically we just wanted to make a cut through the tube on one edge. Um, and it, it, we wanted it to be a very fine cut so that the overall thickness is not compromised. Um, so yeah, very last step, you have to go to save as, and then change the, the save as type 
to the excess. Uh, the default setting should be fine. Um, the main thing that we're concerned about is making sure that the scale is one to one, but I haven't been able to find a way to manipulate that. So I'm just assuming that it's all good. So we just save it as the file name, hit save. It'll show you some options. Um, but everything looks good. We're just exporting the sheet metal. Save. And then it'll just show you one more time what the 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 file is going to look like. And then you just hit save. And that is about it. Um, one thing that we can let's see. Yeah, let's just double check that it is saved where we want it to be. It's in the right folder. Um, it's a DXF file. It shows PDF for some reason. I that's, that's my thing, something that I configured by accident, but it is a .DXF file. Um, and if you don't have like a DXF viewer like me, there's a couple just free online ones that you can uh, just import your file or upload it and then it'll show you what the, the file looks like. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, there's, it seems like a lot of tubes um, and it, it is kind of tedious, but hopefully we will only have to do this once or twice and then we'll be good to go. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching.